Welcome to the Wild About video series. Tune in each month as our town biologists share with you elements of nature and wildlife that are vital components to our ecosystem here on Kiowa Island. Welcome to Wild About Marsh Sparrows, the sentinels of the salt marsh. Today we're going to be in the salt marshes of Kiowa Island. Uh, we've got a substantial salt marsh system uh, surrounding the islands uh, and we're going to be focusing on trying to catch uh, marsh sparrows. So these marsh sparrows spend most of their time hidden in the vegetation. Uh, during low tide they're spread out across the vast low salt marsh uh, foraging and at, during high tide events uh, and even just regular high tides these birds are concentrated and have to come back up into the higher portions of the marsh as you see right here because it concentrates the birds into a smaller portion of the marsh which allows us to catch to catch the birds. We stretch long nets called mist nets between two poles in the mud. We position these nets across natural breaks in the vegetation or at the end of the high tide roost itself. To catch these birds it often requires a group of volunteers. I am lucky that I have a dedicated group of people to follow me out into the marsh for five to seven days each month during the winter time. Mm -hmm. Each site is different, but in general, everybody lines up at the end of the roost from where the nets are set, and we slowly walk through the marsh vegetation towards the net. As we approach the nets, we move quicker, almost into a run, as we flush the birds into the nets. Sometimes we only catch a handful of birds, other times we may catch more than 50 birds in a single flush. The priority is to remove the birds from the nets as quickly and safely as possible. Each bird is placed into a temporary cloth holding bag until the bird is processed and banded. So, uh, we've been doing this project for about seven years now. Um, we're targeting three different species, the uh, seaside sparrow, the salt marsh sparrow, and the Nelson sparrow. And we have a bird in the net right now. Uh, this is a salt marsh sparrow, so I need to get him out so that we can process him, take some measurements, and put a band on his leg. I need to get away. Yeah. Can you sex me else? I don't think. Wing is 60. 9.3 for nares. Uh, we both have that. As sea levels rise and the salt marsh is altered, these marsh sparrows will have less and less habitat available to them. By studying these birds now, we can get a better sense of their population size and habitat needs, and we'll be able to monitor any changes over time potentially leading to positive conservation efforts for the entire salt marsh ecosystem.